Before we get started, we'll have a couple quick reminders. Please turn off your cell phones at this time. Also, please provide your name and media affiliation with each question you ask. And there is no video recording in this room on your phone or handheld camera. With that, Coach Painter, opening remarks. Yeah, I um, want to congratulate Farley Dickinson um, on the win. Thought they played excellent. Um, what they were trying to do and what we watched on film is exactly what they did. Um, always trying to, to spread people out, use their quickness, use their skill. And uh, obviously they press and, and come after you. But um, a lot of that semantics, I, I just thought they played really hard and did a lot of really good things. And, you know, whether it's the turnovers where it was us or it was them, it was still, I thought, a well-played game on, on, on their end of things. And um, it's hard. It's, it's a really hard thing. We've worked very hard and done things the right way in our program. And I think six straight years we've been a top five seed. And that's all you try to do is you just try to fight to get in the best position possible. And now we get in the best position possible and this happens. And um, obviously it hurts. It, it, it hurts bad. And, uh, but with that being said, I don't want to take anything away from them. They earned it. They played better than we did. They coached better than we did. And uh, we got to sit in it. We got to face it. We got to deal with it. And we got to come back stronger. But um, th that'll take some time. That'll take some time. These guys have been fabulous. Our players, it's, it's a joy to, to be around them. Um, these guys all love it. They work hard. They're good dudes. Um, we don't have problems like a lot of other people have problems. We've worked our asses off to get the right people on our team. And uh, it's just unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. But with that being said, I want to congratulate Coach and um, all they've been able to do. He's a grinder, D2 guy. Won 80% of his games there, brought some guys with him, and um, has done a really good job here in a short amount of time. And, you know, tip of the hat to him and his program and his players because I thought they were fabulous. With that, we'll open up for uh, questions for players. Please raise your hand. We'll get your microphone and identify yourself before you ask the question, please. Bob here in front. This is Zach, Bob Kravitz with The Athletic. What did they do to make things uncomfortable for you, or did did you feel they made you uncomfortable? Um, just the way they played, they really limited my touches in the post. Um, <clears throat> you saw a lot of times they would have one dude guarding me from behind and one dude basically sitting in my lap. Uh, they were full front in the entire game, um, so it made, made it very hard to get catches. Uh, they had full front and they would sit someone underneath, uh, underneath the rim, um, which makes it very hard to, like I said, get catches and get into a flow and get into a rhythm. Um, uh, credit to them, they had a great game plan coming in and um, they executed it very well. Right here in front. Fletcher, hey, Greg Doyle from the Indy Star. Um, knowing what they were doing to Zach and how many three-pointers you guys shot, you guys must have known it was going to come to that. What, what is that feeling like as the game's unfolding and you realize he's not going to be the one that's going to win it tonight? You're going to have to make some threes. Yeah, when teams decide to go out and do that defensively, it, uh, you just got to step up and knock down a shot. Um, obviously, 526 isn't what we expected. It's not what we've worked for. It's not a product of the work we've put in. But um, when uh, they they uh, crash in the paint so hard and don't let us throw it in or over top, and um, it's just uh, my eyes open wide up ready to knock down a shot. But uh, then it then it comes to me every time, and then we just didn't knock down shots. Greg again. Yeah, me again. Zach, um, Zach, I've been right here before asking this question, and it sucks, but we're not going to get you for a long, long time. And you're the National Player of the Year. Do you know are you coming back next year? I have no opinion on that right now. Uh, I'll make my decision going forward. Over here on the right. Mike Petralia, CLNS Media, Cincinnati. Um, Fletcher, for you, how uncomfortable did they make the game tonight from start to finish? I mean, not really uncomfortable at all. I felt, I felt good out there. Uh, their pressure was nothing we haven't seen before, but it uh, was constant. And um, really, when you're playing with guys coming from behind you the whole time, you gotta, got to have eyes in the back of your head a little bit. We had a few turnovers like that. but. Not too. We just didn't. We just didn't play our game. I think uh, we got a little rattled. We were a little panicked early on. But uh, if you want to win a game like that, you can't be panicked. You gotta 
go out there and let you know who's boss. Student athletes, thank you for your time. Free to go. Questions for Coach Painter? Bob? <coughs> Matt, how are you dealing with this? I mean, this is three years in a row against a double digit seed. Right. Um, do you have any earthly clue why this has happened? I mean, yeah. you've had great runs, but the last couple. Right, right. So well, well, today, just, you know, what we've tried to the form within our system in, in terms of recruiting is to have the balance of, of a great, you know, great bigs with skill. And then obviously, you know, you shoot five for 26, and this wasn't something for us that was just today. You know, we, we had a couple stretches during the season, um, you know, even in the Big Ten tournament, you know, our last game against, you know, Penn State. Um, and it is frustrating. I think it kind of just mounted for us, and it got worse at times just because. I think we shot one out of rhythm, three in front of me, maybe another one. But like the game plan for people is, is not to like stay in there on him and then go contest. Like they, they, they stay in there on him and they don't even contest. So like we're taking wide open shots, um, you know, from some guys that, that can shoot the basketball. And, and that's kind of been the case for us, you know, the whole year. We've had stretches where we shot the ball well, then we had other stretches. It's that inconsistency. And I think that just kind of builds, you know, especially within individual games like this right here to where, like now, like who really wants to step up and, and knock that shot down? you got to have three or four guys that want that. And, and it's really hard when, you know, you're not as confident and you've missed some wide open shots. So, um, you know, I thought the St. Peter's game, those guys really made it hard for Zach once he got it. And he had those turnovers in that game where here that wasn't the case. You know, when we could get it to him, you know, he, he could score the basketball. It was just after it just kept coming and we're just wide open and they're just not going to let us get it in there because, you know, why should they, right? You know, make those other guys uh, move it. But I, but I thought another key piece of the game was, you know, we had to have more cracks at it. You know, have, you know shooting that way is one thing, but then having 16 turnovers, um, and, you know, about half of those was just us, you know, kind of passing and catching, being able to make fundamental plays. And uh, we overdid some things, had a couple of charging calls. And um, you, you got to be able, when people press you like that, you got to go get layups. You got to go get wide open shots. And then after you start struggling shooting, you got to go get layups. Like that's just, that's so important for us right there. We had some decision making in there that, um, you know, just wasn't very good. And, and just kind of allowed them to linger and hang in the game right there, even though neither one of us was taking a lead and pushing the game out. And uh, that was really hard, you know, because now we're having empty possessions with no shots. You know, at least when we take a shot and it's wide open and we miss, we got a chance to rebound it. We got a chance to set our defense. But if you're turning that basketball over right there, now you're playing in defensive transition. You're not giving yourself a chance to rebound. You're not giving your chance to score, obviously. Hey, Coach. Sam Sprunger, uh, Big Ten Plus 4 ASAP Network. What do you tell the team after such a successful year, winning the regular season, right. winning, the, winning the tournament in the Big right. Ten, and then getting upset like this? What right. do you tell them at the end? Yeah, you, um, There's nothing you can say that's going to change it, right? I mean, they're just, I mean, it, it stinks. They outplayed us. They outcoached us. I think that's the one thing as a coach that you always face it and you know, you'll get ridiculed, you'll get shamed, you'll get whatever. It's, it's basketball. You know, you got to get better. You got to keep fighting to get yourself in this position and then be better. And, um, you know, that's what we have to do. But just told them that I was proud of them. You know, you win the league, you win your tournament, you fight to get in this position. We haven't been in this position as a one seed in a long time. And we get here and then we don't take advantage of that opportunity. But um, they're good guys. They work hard, you know, it, it stings. You know, you can get a lot of different people that look at it a lot of different ways, but when you're the one that's actually playing and coaching and you, the one, you're the one that invested that time, it's, it's really hard to take. But like I said, we're the ones that got to sit in it. We're the ones that got to hopefully be better because of it. Last question for Coach Greg. Right here in front of you. Yeah, Matt, hey, uh, <clears throat> Greg Doyle from the Indy Star. When, when these do you think the team got worn down, the pressure, the shooting did get so much worse as the season went yeah. on? Even the Big Ten tournament, you won some games, you didn't yeah. play that well. Was that just the yeah. stress of being the hunted all year? Yeah. I, I don't, you know, you don't want to make excuses. I, I think the, the shooting 
maybe. But like, you know, I don't want to take anything away from Farley Dickinson. I thought they were great. They were special. And uh, but look at their two leading scores. Like it wasn't like some guy went off for 30. I mean, there's seven for 21 between them. You know, the next kid right there, Moore, he really had a good game, but he's still seven for 17. So it wasn't one of those games where like, you know, they were seven for 23 from three. It was a grinder. You know, we had to be better at grinding that game out than they were, and we weren't. But I, I, when I look at it and I take a step back, you know, you out-rebound them by nine. They have nine turnovers. We have 16. That, that's where it kind of lies for us. We, we, we had a stretch there where we lost games in Big Ten play where we had 16, 17, 16 turnovers, if I'm, if I'm accurate. And that was, it was just too much for us. You know, if you're not going to shoot well and you're going to have high-level turnovers, you're going to put yourself in a, in, a, in a tough position. But I do think as a, as a person who played college basketball and struggled shooting myself, you know, you, you start to play that game within yourself. And you've got to be confident and you've got to step into things. So did you have some? Yeah, go ahead. Go, we're good. Uh, Matt, the last time this happened, obviously, the only other time it's happened where one loss to a 16, that yes. team, Tony Bennett's team, Correct. came back and won the national championship. I know you're still processing all of what happened to me, right. but do you plan to address that with your team that, look, you know, the low point is tonight, but you can still next year build something big? Sure, you're going to talk about it, but it's going to be the work. You know, it, it's going to be the drive, the, the hurt. You know, it, it's got to, you know, it's got to sit with you, man. It's got to sit with you to get you to work harder, not talk about it. You don't need to talk about anything. You know, we got to work harder. People can say we have young guys or it doesn't matter. When you, when you step out there, it does not matter. You got to compete and be better than your opponent. And, um, you know, we're not going to give into it. I know that unless they move me, we're not going to give into it. So we're going to keep fighting and um, doing everything in our power to make our program better, to get right back here. And, and just play better, so. Coach, thank you for your time. You guys got anything? You're good? Actually, I Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Will you, yes. <laughs> will, will you converse with uh, Zach about his future? You yeah, you know, he's a level-headed guy, man. He'll, he'll take the information in and, and make a decision and do what's best for him. So he's not somebody that he's, – he's pretty simple in things. But it's not me. You know, it's, he's got, his parents are great. Um, the people around him are great. Um, you know, he's, he's a good dude, man. He's, it's, it's too bad. He deserves better than this. He deserves better. Greg, did you have something else? You're good? You guys good? Cool. Thank you.